Hi. In this video, we are going to be talking about the cold start valve. We are going to be talking what it is, what's its task, about the issues, and how uh, to diagnose malfunctions. So stay tuned. The cold start valve is the fifth, seventh, ninth, or the thirteenth uh, valve uh, on your engine. The thirteenth uh, injector, I wanted to say. Its task is uh, to make uh, cold uh, starts easier. Its operation time depends on the coolant temperature. If the temperature is uh, minus uh, 20 degrees C, the valve is going uh, to be uh, spraying for approximately 10 uh, seconds. The warmer the engine, the less time the valve is going to be spraying. Commonly, the valve is going to be spraying about uh, one and a half seconds until 60 degrees C is uh, achieved. Afterwards, the valve is going to be off. Now, some similarities and differences between uh, the other injectors and the cold start uh, valve injector. The cold start valve uh, has uh, the solenoid, the electromagnet on it. In comparison with the common uh, mechanical injectors on the engine. It can also start dripping uh, similarities like all other injectors and create both cold and warm start issues. Warm start issues because if it uh, starts uh, dripping the fumes will appear and you will have uh, difficulties uh, in a war warm start with the warm engine, intermediate interruptions and high fuel consumption. Now why, L let's say about uh, the warm start uh, issues. The warm start uh, issues can happen if three components on your engine are not uh, uh, good functioning. The one of them is called the fuel ac accumulator. The second one is uh, called uh, injectors. And the third one is uh, the cold start valve. If your a fuel accumulator is uh, good and it can uh, hold steady the pressure of 3 bar in your uh, system, then the injectors, if they out of any reason start uh, dripping, squirting, uh, atomizing at the angle, then replace them. And the third Thing that uh, makes uh, warm starting issues uh, is the cold start valve. The cold start valve because it, it also starts dripping and then the fumes appear and uh, maybe you experienced uh, the, the, the problem. Let's uh, say it like that, that <clears throat> you for example, uh, uh, have driven somewhere the car, the car is already warm, and you stole the car. Afterwards, after some 15 minutes, you want to start the car, and the car as if it uh, starts, but then it stalls. It's uh, <coughs> as if uh, it coughs. Let's uh, say it like that. And you have to uh, then crank the engine all over again. Well, then you should check uh, the cold start valve. If the valve 
doesn't close, then it can inject the fuel all the time and enrich the mixture. That's another issue with a cold start valve. Let's see how everything functions. The valve is driven by the fuel pump relay as the coolant temperature sensor reports the ECU and the EZL about the temperature of uh, the coolant, the ECU sends the signal to the fuel pump relay whether to operate the cold start valve or not. Here you have to check four things. The coolant temperature sensor, the solenoid on the cold start valve, the fuel pump relay as well as the valve itself. Let's now check, and this is my advice to you, to check uh, from the easiest and then uh, you let uh, the hardest tasks uh, for the end. The easiest one is the coolant temperature sensor. So, in order for me not to be talking about how to check the coolant temperature sensor, I would, uh, I would like to post you a card here and let the Ivica from the older days be talking about the coolant temperature sensor, how to see whether it's uh, good uh, functioning or not. The second thing would be to check the cold start valve if it's operating all the time, continuously or not. That's also one really easy task for you. Just start your car if you manage to start it and then drive it around the blocks until you make the car warm and then as you come home then you can take uh, the cold start valve out of the engine and then you start you crank uh, the car and you start the engine and then you can see if uh, it is going to be dripping uh, all the time if uh, the cold start uh, valve uh, is uh, spraying all the time or not. And now let's talk about the solenoid. Unclip the solenoid, measure the voltage. You have those uh, two connections. One of them is brown brown lead is always negative but and the second one is black pink that's that's the positive that's the one you need so you take your multimeter set it to voltage and the, the positive goes uh, on uh, the black pink lead and the negative goes uh, to the ground and activate uh, the starter let someone uh, of your helpers uh, activate uh, the car for you the goal you have to get is approximately 10 volts if you do if you get that voltage then you will have to test the cold start valve itself at first unplug the coolant temperature sensor unscrew the metal hose from the valve the two screws holding it watch for the gasket take off the and uh, reconnect the, the valve Put the jar underneath or some cup and uh, crank the engine. A 
as you do. Try the jet of the valve and observe it for one minute. In this time, the valve must not drip. If it does, replace the valve. And now, after you have tested the coolant temperature sensor and it passed the exam. <laughs> after you have tested the, the valve and it passed the exam. After you have uh, tested <laughs> the uh, solenoid and it passed the exam, then your issue is the fuel pump relay. Maybe not all of those contacts, but one of them for sure. Because the faulty fuel pump relay, as uh, I have been talking about that here, the card, this is how it functions. If uh, some lead is uh, faulty there, not all 12 of them, because you see, the second, uh, the second uh, contact on your fuel pump relay is called TF, and that's the temperature sensor. That contact is connected to the ninth contact on your ECU, and that's where the fuel pump relay has to get the information about the coolant, whether to start to operate the fuel pump, the, uh, the cold start valve or not. And again, let me repeat uh, about uh, the fuel pump relay. The faulty fuel pump uh, relay means that your pump, your fuel pump is dead, your cold start valve is dead, your heating element for the lambda is dead, if you drive automatics, the kick down is dead, and that, that's how it is. So my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip add. It is going to help me a lot. And till the next video, happy Mercedesing. Bye.